So when we hear a film getting highly acclaimed reviews by the critics and the audience says, when you check it out, you'll end up loving it. And it turns out to be as terrific as the critics and the audience says made it to be. But then there are also other times where a film could get such high praise reviews. And then once you watch that film, you just turn out to be disappointed. Which one is the way, way back? Watch my review to find out. Hello everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review The Way Way Back starring Steve Carell, Tony Collette, Allison Janney, Anna Sophia Robb, Sam Rockwell, Liam James, Maya Rudolph, Rob Cordry, Amanda Peet, Nat Faxon, and Jim Rash. It's written and directed by Nat Faxon and Jim Rash who starred in this film too, which is cool. All right, so when I saw the trailer to The Way Way Back, I was honestly really interested. I was all like, wow, this looks like it could be a really good film. And when I heard how great, great, like the reviews were all across the board great, the critics really enjoyed it, the audiences were loving the film, and I mean the audiences really loved this film. I don't normally go to my theater that plays independent films, but I made a 35 minute drive just to go check out The Way Way Back because I was really interested in seeing this film, and I was hoping it could be as amazing as everyone is making it sound to be. And so, my honest thoughts on The Way Way Back, I was disappointed with this film. It's not a terrible film. There are good things about this film, but there are also problems that the film suffers from. Liam James, he nails it as this teenager, um, you know, going through his rough teenage life with his stepfather, played by Steve Corral, with his mom, and, you know, just a lot of things going on. Sam Rockwell. Oh, man. This dude steals the show. Sam Rockwell was awesome. I really enjoyed his performance. He gave out a standout performance. Sam Rockwell killed it in this film. Steve Corral is the jerk. Awesome. Steve Carell did such a great job. He is one of my favorite comedy actors to be working as of today. But for him to do something different, not try to be, you know, Steve Corral-ish, him being all goofy and silly, he wasn't like that. He really was a straight-up asshole, and he did well. And then, Anna Sophia Robb. Ever since I saw her in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I thought she was a good actress. She is actually one of my favorite young actresses. She's a really cute and beautiful girl. She can act very well. And in this film, she really added a lot of depth to her character. And I thought the way Liam James and Anna Sophia Robb interacted with each other, starting to have this bond, starting to be relatable to each other, I thought that was cool about this film. And it's also cool how the directors and the writers of this film are actually in here, and they gave a very enjoyable performance too. And Maya Rudolph, although I wasn't a big fan of her in Bridesmaids and a couple of other films I've seen her in, but she was surprisingly good here. She did a good job. The good things about this film is that the performances... They were actually good. Some of the moments are really funny. There are some really funny moments in this film. I actually cracked up in some parts of this film. I just thought some of the humor here was well handled. And then we also go into the last 20 minutes of the film where it starts to go into the more dramatic aspect. And I actually really enjoy that. I think if this film was more of a drama film than a comedy film, it really could have been 
this spectacular film. But really, this film plays out more for the comedy aspects. And in my opinion, there are less dramatic aspects here. And I was hoping for more dramatic tension to really make the story build. And the way the scenery looks in this film, you know, but like with the water park, it, it's all filmed nicely. It's nicely done. The problems the Way Way Back does have and these are problems that make this film not so remarkable or not memorable. It is most of the humor. I actually cracked up at some of the humor, but most of the humor ran a bit too long. Like, I don't know why some people thought this was the most hilarious film ever. Like, am I the only person that thought they were trying way too hard to be funny? Like, character with her being drunk all the time and this whole running gag with the kid's lazy eye. The first time, it was actually kind of funny. But then after that, it just got repetitive. It annoyed me a bit. It actually roll, made me roll my eyes like, ugh. And there were just some, there were just gags that they kept reusing. They felt like nothing new. Also, there are these boring scenes. There were some scenes in this film where I was actually legitimately bored. And it was during the table scenes. Like, you know when the family, the neighbors, they get together like all the time. They're always at the dinner table. They're always eating or laughing or drinking. You know, being silly and all. Those scenes are the least interesting scenes in this film. And it made the film not being so memorable because of that. Every time a dinner scene was coming up, I was bored. I literally did... And that actually, there was actually a couple of times where I did in the theater because of how filler the scenes are. Oh my gosh. And don't get me started on this board game scene. There was this scene where Steve Carell, Liam James, and you know, the sister and the mom, they all gather on together to have board game to have their family quality time. And then... I'm not going to spoil any more from there, but all I'm going to say is that it ran a bit too long, and I was bored out of my mind, I was rolling my eyes, and I was like, okay, come on, get to the next freaking scene. <sighs> I was like that at some moments in this film. I don't like being like that. I felt like those scenes had no point. The great scenes of this film are the scenes that take place at the water park. The water park scenes, they are great. They're hilarious. They're enjoyable. The movie was actually great when it took place at the water park. When it took place at the family and neighbor's home, whenever they're at the dinner scenes, I was bored. It was a letdown. I was underwhelmed. I felt it was not necessary for the story. It tried way too hard to be funny, but it just felt like this boring filler for me. And the only time the whole family neighbor scene was great was when, of course, uh, Liam James gets mad at Steve Carell for something, and I'm not going to spoil it from there. There weren't as many drama scenes as I thought the film would be. I thought there was going to be a lot of drama, you know, to really get us audiences attached to the storyline, but there were less drama scenes here. I couldn't get invested enough into the storyline because of that. The last final problem I have with The Way Way Back is how it ended. I did feel like... I felt like they did rush the ending a little, like a certain situation happens and then that's what builds up to the last 20 or so minutes of the film. And then, you know, it just felt kind of rushed, it felt out of place, and once the film ended, it just did not feel satisfying. And obviously, Nat Fixon and Jim Rash, I could notice how much talent these guys have, and I'm sure whatever next movie they are going to write or direct or do both, I'm sure it'll be better. Not a perfect film 
at all. There are problems with this film, but that doesn't mean this is a bad film because there are remarkable moments in this film. So don't take the fact that I hate this film because I'm far from hitting the way, way back. But overall, it's not memorable. This is not a film I could go back to watch again. And I was disappointed in The Way Way Back in the end. It's my opinion. For those of you that do love The Way Way Back, I'm glad you do. I'm going to give The Way Way Back two and a half out of four stars. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your honest opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget that I will always have Talk Power.